Good morning, everyone. My name is Miguel Fuentes, and I am the uh, founder of Kingdom Faith Outdoors. And our motto is seek God first and then go fishing. Amen. So today uh, we're going to get into the book of uh, Ezra. And uh, we're going to be taking a look at Ezra 1 through 4 today. Praise God. So we're almost towards the middle of the Bible. Amen. And so uh, before I get started, let's go ahead and pray first. Amen. Heavenly Father, Lord, we just thank you, Lord, for the day. We thank you, Lord, uh, for everything that you uh, have done in our lives. <clears throat> Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, if you have sinned in our hearts, Father, we repent. And, Lord, we turn away from evil, Father. And, Lord, help us, Lord, to walk in holiness and righteousness according to your word. And help us, Lord, to keep your word, Lord. And uh, we thank you. We praise you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. All right. <clears throat> Before we get into the uh, the text here, uh, let's go ahead and do a little bit of a uh, intro to Ezra. <clears throat> now Ezra was a priest, but he also a prophet according to Third and Fourth Ezra, or uh, or there's, there's a another name, uh, First and Second Ezra, which will test that out. Uh, part later, later in the future, praise God, and um, and see how it lines up with this text of the scripture writer. Um, it, you know, the, the date uh, takes place when the Persian Empire now has power over that region uh, that that the Babylonians have lost. And so, if so, this time frame is about eighty years at least, from five thirty eight to four fifty seven B.C. And uh, the author is unknown. Some say maybe Ezra. Uh, this this written in uh, four thirty B.C. And uh, the theme is return from exile. Rebuilding the temple and the life under the Mosaic law. It only has ten chapters, so so praise God. <clears throat> Let's get into the text, amen. Uh, Ezra chapter one. Let's listen to the word. Book of Ezra, chapter 1. Now in the first year of Cyrus, king of Persia, that the word of the Lord by the mouth of Jeremiah might be fulfilled, the Lord stirred up the spirit of Cyrus, king of Persia, that he made a proclamation throughout all his kingdom, and put it also in writing, saying, Thus saith Cyrus, king of Persia, The Lord God of heaven hath given me all the kingdoms of the earth, and he hath charged me to build him an house at Jerusalem, which is in Judah. Who is there among <clears> you of <throat> all his people? His God be with him. And let him go up to Jerusalem, which is in Judah, and build the house of the Lord God of Israel. He is the God, which is in Jerusalem. And whosoever remaineth in any place where he sojourneth, let the men of his place help him with silver, <clears throat> and with gold, and with goods, and with beasts, beside the free will offering for the house of God that is in Jerusalem. Then rose up the chief of the fathers of Judah and Benjamin and the priests and the Levites, with all them whose spirit God had raised, to go up to build the house of the Lord which is in Jerusalem. And all they that were about them strengthened their hands with vessels of silver, with gold, with goods, and with beasts, and with precious things beside all that was willingly offered. Also Cyrus the king brought forth the vessels of the house of the Lord, which Nebuchadnezzar had brought forth out of Jerusalem, and had put them in the house of his gods. Even those did Cyrus king of Persia bring forth by the hand of Mithridath the treasurer, and numbered them unto Sheshbazar the prince of Judah. And this is the number of them, thirty charges of gold, a thousand charges of silver, nine and twenty knives, thirty basins of gold, silver basins, 
basins of a second sword, 410, and other vessels, a thousand. Mm. All the vessels of gold and of silver were 5,400. All these did the Sheshbazar bring up with them of the captivity that were brought up from Babylon unto Jerusalem. Alright, chapter 2. Ezra 2. Now these are the children of the province that went up out of the captivity of those which had been carried away, whom Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Babylon, had carried away unto Babylon, and came again unto Jerusalem and Judah, every one unto his city which came with Zerubbabel, Joshua, Nehemiah, Sarahiah, Realiah, Mordecai, Bilshan, Mizpah, Bigvi, Reham, Bana, the number of the men of the people of Israel, the children of Parosh, 2,170 and two, the children of Shephatiah, 370 and two, the children of Ar-Ra, 770 and five, the children of Pahath Moab, of the children of Jeshua and Joab, 2,812, the children of Elam, 1,250 and four, the children of Zatu, 940 and five, the children of Zakai, 703 score, the children of Bani, 640 and two, the children of Babai, 620 and three, the children of Asgad, 1,220 and two, the children of Adonikam, 660 and six, the children of Bigvi, 2050 and 6, the children of Adin, 450 and 4, the children of Ater of Hezekiah, 90 and 8, the children of Bezai, 320 and 3, the children of Jorah, 112, the children of Hashem, 220 and 3, the children of Gibar, 90 and 5, the children of Bethlehem, 120 and 3, the men of Netapha, Fifty and six, the men of Amathoth, an hundred and twenty and eight, the children of Asmaveth, forty and two, the children of Kirjatharim, Chephra, and Beroth, seven hundred and forty and three, the children of Ramah and Gaba, six hundred twenty and one, the men of Mikmas, an hundred twenty and two, the men of Bethel and Ai, two hundred twenty and three, the children of Nebo, fifty and two, the children of Magbish, an hundred fifty and six, the children of the other Elam, a thousand two hundred fifty and four, the children of Harim, three hundred and twenty, the children of Lod, Hadid and Ono, seven hundred twenty and five, the children of Jericho, three hundred forty and five, the children of Sena, three thousand six hundred and thirty, the priests, the children of Jedaiah of the house of Jeshua, nine hundred seventy and three, the children of Emer, a thousand fifty and two, the children of Pasher, a thousand two hundred forty and seven, the children of Harim, a thousand and seventeen. The Levites, the children of Jeshua and Hedmiel, of the children of Arabiah, seventy and four, the singers, the children of Asaph, an hundred twenty and eight, the children of the porters, the children of Shalom, the children of Ater, the children of Talmon, the children of Akub, the children of Atita, the children of Shobai, in all an hundred thirty and nine. The Nithanims, the children of Zahar, the children of Asaphah, the children of Tabalath, the children of Keros, the children of Siaha, the children of Padan, the children of Lebanon, the children of Hagabah, the children of Akub, the children of Hagab, the children of Shalmiai, the children of Hanan, the children of Gidel, the children of Gahar, the children of Reaiah, the children of Rezin, the children of Nakoda, the children of Gazam, the children of Uzah, the children of Paseah, the children of Besai, the children of Asna, the children of Mehunim, the children of Nephusim, the children of Makbok, the children of Hakapha, the children of Hahor, the children of Basloth, the children of Mahida, the children of Harsha, the children of Barkos, the children of Sisera, the children of Thama, the children of Nezahiah, the children of Hatapha, the children of Solomon's servants, the children of Sotai, the children of Sophereth, the children of Peruda, the children of Jala, the children of Darkon, the children of Gedal, the children of Shephatiah, the children of Hatil, the children of Pachareth, of Zebaim, the children of Ammai, all the Nethanims, and the children of Solomon's servants were three hundred ninety and two. And these were they which went up from Tel Malah, Terhasa, Cherub, Adan, and Emer. 
but they could not show their father's house and their seed, whether they were of Israel. The children of Delaiah, the children of Tobiah, the children of Nakoda, 650 and 2. And of the children of the priests, the children of Habaiah, the children of Koz, the children of Barzillai, which took a wife of the daughters of Barzillai the Gileadite, and was called after their name, these sought their register among those that were reckoned by genealogy, but they were not found. Therefore were they, as polluted, put from the priesthood. And the Tirshathah said unto them, that they should not eat of the most holy things, till there stood up a priest with Urim and with Thummim. The whole congregation together was forty and two thousand three hundred and three score, beside their servants and their maids, of whom there were seven thousand three hundred thirty and seven, and there were among them two hundred singing men and singing women. Their horses were seven hundred thirty and six, their mules two hundred forty and five, their camels four hundred thirty and five, their asses six thousand seven hundred and twenty, and some of the chief of the fathers, when they came to the house of the Lord, which is at Jerusalem, offered freely for the house of God to set it up in his place. They gave after their ability unto the treasure of the work threescore and one thousand drams of gold and five thousand pound of silver and one hundred priests' garments. <clears throat> so the priests and the Levites and some of the people and the singers and the porters and the Nethanims dwelt in their cities and all Israel in their cities. All right, chapter three. Ezra 3, and when the seventh month was come, and the children of Israel were in the cities, the people gathered themselves together as one man to Jerusalem. Then stood up Jeshua, the son of Josedach, and his brethren the priests, and Zerubbabel, the son of Shaltiel, and his brethren, and builded the altar of the God of Israel, to offer burnt offerings thereon, as it is written in the law of Moses, the man of God. And they set the altar upon his bases, for fear was upon them because of the people of those countries. And they offered burnt offerings thereon unto the Lord, even burnt offerings morning and evening. They kept also the Feast of Tabernacles, as it is written, and offered the daily burnt offerings by number, according to the custom as the duty of every day required. And afterward offered the continual burnt offering, both of the new moons and of all the set feasts of the Lord that were consecrated, and of every one that willingly offered a freewill offering unto the Lord. From the first day of the seventh month began they to offer burnt offerings unto the Lord. But the foundation of the temple of the Lord was not yet laid. They gave money also unto the masons, and to the carpenters, and meat, and drink, and oil, unto them of Zidon, and to them of Tyre, to bring cedar trees from Lebanon to the sea of Joppa, according to the grant that they had of Cyrus king of Persia. Now in the second year of their coming unto the house of God at Jerusalem, in the second month, began Zerubbabel the son of Shaltiel, and Jeshua the son of Jozadak, and the remnant of their brethren, the priests and the Levites, and all they that were come out of the captivity unto Jerusalem, and appointed the Levites, from twenty years old and upward, to set forward the work of the house of the Lord. Then stood Jeshua with his sons and his brethren, Cadmiel and his sons, the sons of Judah together, to set forward the workmen in the house of God, the sons of Hanadad, with their sons, and their brethren the Levites. And when the builders laid the foundation of the temple of the Lord, they set the priests in their apparel with trumpets, and the Levites, the sons of Asaph, with cymbals, to praise the Lord, after the ordinance of David, king of Israel. And they sang together by course, in praising and giving thanks unto the Lord, because he is good, for his mercy endureth for ever toward Israel. And all the people shouted with a great shout when they praised the Lord, because the foundation of the house of the Lord was laid. But many of the priests and Levites and chief of the fathers, who were ancient men that had seen the first house, when the foundation of this house was laid before their eyes, wept with a loud voice, and many shouted aloud for joy, so that the people could not discern the noise of the shout of joy from the noise of the weeping of the people. For the people shouted with a loud shout, and the noise was heard afar off. Mm. All right, chapter four, last chapter of the day. Ezra four. 
Now when the adversaries of Judah and Benjamin heard that the children of the captivity builded the temple unto the Lord God of Israel, then they came to Zerubbabel and to the chief of the fathers and said unto them, Let us build with you, for we seek your God as ye do. And we do sacrifice unto him since the days of Asar, Hadan, king of Asur, which brought us up hither. But Zerubbabel and Joshua and the rest of the chief of the fathers of Israel said unto them, Ye have nothing to do with us to build an house unto our God, but we ourselves together will build unto the Lord God of Israel, as King Cyrus, the king of Persia, hath commanded us. Then the people of the land weakened the hands of the people of Judah, and troubled them in building, and hired counselors against them to frustrate their purpose, all the days of Cyrus, king of Persia, even until the reign of Darius, king of Persia. And in the reign of Ahasuerus, in the beginning of his reign, wrote they unto him an accusation against the inhabitants of Judah and Jerusalem. And in the days of Artaxerxes wrote Bishlam, Mithridath, Tabil, and the rest of their companions unto Artaxerxes, king of Persia. And the writing of the letter was written in the Syrian tongue, <clears throat> and interpreted in the Syrian tongue. Raham the chancellor and Shimshai the scribe wrote a letter against Jerusalem to Artaxerxes the king in this sort. Then wrote Raham the chancellor, and Shimshai the scribe, and the rest of their companions, the Dinaites, the Aphersathites, the Tarpalites, the Apharsites, the Archivites, the Babylonians, the Susanchites, the Dehavites, and the Elamites, and the rest of the nations whom the great and noble Asnapa brought over and set in the cities of Samaria, and the rest that are on this side, the river, and at such a time. This is the copy of the letter that they sent unto him, even unto Artaxerxes the king. Thy servants the men, on this side the river, and at such a time. Be it known unto the king, that the Jews which came up from thee to us, are come unto Jerusalem, building the rebellious and the bad city, and have set up the walls thereof, and joined the foundations. Be it known now unto the king, that if this city be builded, and the walls set up again, then will they not pay toll, tribute, and custom. And so thou shalt and damage the revenue of the kings. Now because we have maintenance from the king's palace, and it was not meet for us to see the king's dishonor, therefore have we sent and certified the king, that search may be made in the book of the records of thy fathers. So shalt thou find in the book of the records, and know that this city is a rebellious city, and hurtful unto kings and provinces, and that they have moved a sedition within the same of old time, for which cause was this city destroyed? We certify the king that if this city be built again, and the walls thereof set up, by this means thou shalt have no portion on this side the river. Then sent the king an answer unto Rehan the chancellor, and to Shimshai the scribe, and to the rest of their companions that dwell in Samaria, and unto the rest beyond the river. Peace, and at such a time. The letter which ye sent unto us hath been plainly read before me, and I commanded and search hath been made, and it is found that this city of old time hath made insurrection against kings, and that rebellion and sedition have been made therein. There have been mighty kings also over Jerusalem, which have ruled over all countries beyond the river, and toll, tribute, and custom was paid unto them. Give ye now commandment to cause these men to cease, and that this city be not builded, until another commandment shall be given from me. Take heed now that ye fail not to do this. Why should damage grow to the hurt of the kings? Now when the copy of King Artaxerxes' letter was read before Rehum, and Shimshai the scribe, and their companions, they went up in haste to Jerusalem unto the Jews, and made them to cease by force and power. Then ceased the work of the house of God which is at Jerusalem. So it ceased unto the second year of the reign of Darius king of Persia. All right. <clears throat> what do we have here? Chapter one, we see the uh, the uh, proclamation, the proclamation, proclamation, the proclamation of Cyrus. And Cyrus restores the holy vessels. In chapter two, we see the list of returning exiles and offering by the exiles. And we see this in, in Nehemiah chapter 7 verse 4 through 69 and uh, 70 through 73. 
And also in Exodus chapter 38, verses 21 through 31. Excuse me. In chapter 3, we see the sacrifice is restored. The temple restoration begins. And in chapter 4, we see the adversaries hinder the works, opposed under uh, Exerces and Artaxerxes, and decree of Artaxerxes. So God's punishment was over. Now the Israelites are ready to return to Israel and rebuild itself. Um, <clears throat> so, you know, when, when we see, you know, the uh, Daniel vision of that statue that had like the four layers, you know, um, when we get to it, it's very, very crucial to understand uh, world history of these uh, nations. You know, we, we first we had the uh, Assyrians, and then the Babylonians, and then the Persians. And then after that, the Greeks, and then the Romans. You know, that, that sort of pattern that we see throughout history. But a very, very interesting, you know, a very interesting book. I'm definitely going to be... Uh, this is going to be a pretty interesting book. So next week, we'll get into Ezra chapters 5 through 10. And then next Sunday, we'll do uh, Nehemiah chapters 1 through 4, which I'm very, very excited. So, uh, yeah. And other announcements. I uh, won't be going fishing for... Hopefully, hopefully I can go back fishing by either Tuesday or Wednesday and Thursday. Um... But there will be more rain chances, so the the water level is getting higher and higher to the point where my fishing spot is basically underwater. underwater. And so i got to wait maybe a couple of days after a uh, <clears throat> period of rain to let the water decrease and all that so that I can, so that I can go back fishing again. So... Yeah, so that's all I got for today. May God bless you. May God keep you. See you guys again next time. Bye.